So let's talk about where they're stored. Okay, let's go back to the Windows 7 installation directory in your user directory. And this is you. You see this app data directory. This is the directory that stores a, a lot of your stuff and everything as far as your user goes. If you can't see that, you're going to have to go to View and turn on Hidden Files. If that's off, you'll see that app data goes away. You click on Hidden Files and it shows up. So you go in here and you go into Local and you scroll down all your old installations and everything. Uh, again, another reason why you have to have it. You'll see some things like this for a games, Chromium. You'll see EA games, electronic, anything that looks like a game, Fallout 3, all that. You need to copy these over to your new directory, which is on your Windows 8 directory. And again, you go to whatever user you've set up on Windows 8, and you go to the App Data directory, local, and you copy all these folders over. You just again, you drag and you say copy. Make sure you don't copy inside of a folder that you say copy to. Uh, local, remember to copy uh, and drop them in over there, and it'll, give, it'll ask you for access and everything. So you have to have all that done. Uh, that's not the only place it stores. If you go back to your own user and you go to my documents, okay, you might find some directories there. So then you have to go to the same place, my documents, and copy those over to here. Okay, so again, all your old stuff from both app data and my documents, you need to move over. There might be some in the public and my documents. There is no app data because you don't log in as public, so it never creates that. But it might be in your documents directory there. So you want to make sure you, you take a look at everywhere you possibly can. But basically, two places. One is in your old user directory under app data and my documents and copy those over to the respective places on your new installation over there. You should get most of them. Not guaranteed to get all. Uh, if you have some very, very important games that you've got a lot of history and everything, you may want to do some research on the web for that particular game about where this, the they save your files. And wherever they're saved at on their old directory, uh, sometimes it's only it's in the program files directory too, by the way. Uh, it could be in here. It could be under program data directory. Looks like there's some EA Core Electronic Arts stuff there. Remember to come over to your new installation, okay, under program data, for example, and do the same thing. Copy these over there to make sure that you have a copy of every possible thing. Now, some of these are probably empty. If we go to Ubisoft Assassin's Creed 2, there's nothing there, okay? So they're just folders that the game uses. But hopefully that's, that step will get you all your saved games. So that's about it. Uh, on moving your Steam installation A to a either unprotected directory, in other words, out of the program files to a new games directory, and in turn for Windows 8, you can install it there. Uh, we'll have a little uh, demo here in a minute about uh, showing how Steam games still run. Some of the blogs I've read uh, say that it runs even faster, of course, because Windows 8 is faster. Uh, the other thing we're going to cover is Fraps and how Fraps doesn't appear to work where you can ca capture your games, but it actually does work very well under Windows 8. If we go to Steam and we look at our list of uh, our library, okay? We look at all of our installed games. Some of them will say ready to play. Now, some of these we go ahead and ran some installation, but some of them may be some older formats. And you'll notice here that, like this Back to the Future, I haven't run it in, since 2011. Uh, Steam changed their format of how they store the games. They have a more efficient storage. So, uh, if you right-click on this download, pause, and you, and you say resume updating, nothing's going to happen. That's a little misleading. What you have to do is you have to right click and say play game and it says Steam needs to convert the game content this blah 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 to its new more efficient. It'll take a required internet connection in a few minutes time. Depending upon how big of a game. I didn't click on Batman because it's going to be a big one but let's click on this one and see how fastly it converts this small game. It's converting the, the game to the new format and then it immediately says missing content is being downloaded so now it's even finishing up that we go there and if we go to back to the future it's been converted ready to play so you'll see that so you just have to do that for all your games that have that still haven't run for a while uh, you have to go in there and change all those uh, if you're not ever going to run them again you don't have to do it right now uh, so you're, you're good to go but just because it says um, 
download pause doesn't mean that it actually is ready to go. If you go back to the library and go to, the, to your normal view, you'll see that all these say download pause again. You can't say it from here. You can't say resume updating because nothing will happen. But if you say play, and I'll try and do a smaller one. Well, just to say, like we said before, you say play game or you say play game here. It'll come up and say it needs to convert to a new format. You just say OK and it'll do it for each one of the games.